So, hello, welcome back. Are you ready for Neu? <laughs> I really, really do hope so. This is one of my all-time favorite bands for several reasons, of course. And the main reason for this video now is that finally we've got the box set with the Neu album Neue Records and some extra stuff. We go through that box set, which is very reasonable priced. I put down links in the video description, affiliate links in the video description down below. We will compare the records, the f first two Neue Records against the original pressings. But before we do so, please Please allow me in this case that I talk a little bit about, about Neu. They are from Düsseldorf here. Mainly uh, Neu is Michael Rother and Klaus Dinger. Michael Rother on guitar, Klaus Dinger on the drums. And what a perfect duo those two are. They have never become friends, but musically they they are the perfect duo in my opinion. Really, really great stuff. Klaus Dinger and uh, Michael Rother also has been involved into the early, very early Kraftwerk recordings. They have been a big part of that. Then they uh, uh, founded Neu. And we are talking here very, very early, 1972, 73, 74 Germany, Düsseldorf. In that time, Düsseldorf managed to get the city of fashion, music and design. It was an incredible atmosphere in this, this city, very free, very liberal, moving, relaxed, almost a perfect ambience, uh, which is also confirmed by uh, uh, nobody less than Iggy Pop, who was in that area in that time here in Germany who himself got introduced to Neu through David Bowie. And when we talk about that, we also talk for the first time about the huge influence, an incredible influence uh, uh, Neu had to the uh, music of, of, of the 70s. It's, it's can't, it can't be overstated in a way. They don't have such a huge catalog, but they, for example, the whole Berlin trilogy of, of David Bowie, and he confirmed that or confessed that all, 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 almost in, in a German television ser uh, 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 series uh, way later. Not thinkable without Neu and, and, and uh, 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 the music they did in that time. The music of Neu is in a way completely rhythm driven. Same like the early craft work in a way completely focused on the on, on the rhythm and, and of course the main power and, and power is the right word comes from the drummer Klaus Dinger, the forefather of techno a lot of people says because his drumming is so powerful and and he always managed in that younger age to get the lange gerade. What is the Lange Gerade? It's German. Very difficult to, to, to explain. The Lange Gerade is that he holds this rhythm and, and varies this rhythm for an incredible long period of time. Long, uh, long, let's say long lane, endless lane. And that was what he was into. He was completely in this rhythm and, 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 and Michael Rother accompanied him on his uh, guitar, guitar play. And so, at least for the first two records, an incredible melange of rhythm, craftsmanship, power came to be. And this is outstanding, outstanding music. And now we celebrate with this box set their 50th anniversary and yeah, it's, it's, it's so deserved that this band is still 
uh, in the head and in the heart of so many people great stuff uh, you mean klaus dinger hasn't had an, an easy life in in later years due to heavy drug abuse one can say he wasn't someone you wanted to be around it was could even be get dangerous when you when you are around him but in his heart he seems to be what i've heard a very very kind and calm person he was one of those attention seekers in a way what i've heard and um yeah but musically one of the drummers of the century if you haven't heard it get into it try it it's It's a pillar of, of, of 70s music, of, of also crowd rock, um, but, but a singular, a singular uh, release in a way. Okay, sorry for my rambling, but I wanted to share that. I wanted to, to tell you why this is such an incredible, beautiful, important release for me. Okay, here we have, we have the outer box set. Nice mate, this is the iconic Neu uh, 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 design. We also, of course, get a beautiful booklet. Very important part of every box set, if it's done right. We go through it. Really nice, a lot of information, pictures. You know, this is something that makes those box sets really worthwhile. And the, the label really did a great, great job with it. I don't go through every page, I think. Here we have Dinger and here we have Rota. That's the booklet and then a very funny add-on. <laughs> Uh, you know, you ca I can spray my walls with the Neu, with the Neu symbol. Yeah, and then of course we have the records, Neu, self-titled, in a gatefold, like the original has been in a gatefold. We get it on colored vinyl. Show you the label because this is not the label of the original, but beautiful, really beautiful. Then here, ah, no poly lined inner sleeve, just plain paper. Don't like that, of course. Here we go with Neu zwei, which means two. <laughs> Again, a gatefold jacket those jackets are very very good replicas of the original jackets here we have the third album I think this is 1974 I'm not sure, 73 or 74 and of course we have the two tribute albums which is of course for those who don't have um, who have all the other stuff also interesting because we have some remixes Neu im Glück the national remix Weissensee Fink version we have Super Mogwai remix we have Hallo Gallo First song on the on the self-titled Stephen Morris and Gabe Guernsey remix, Lieber Honig, Jan Tiersen remix, Super, Man Man remix, Negative Land, Idols, Negative Space rework. Yeah, some some interesting stuff. Haven't listened to that yet. Just wanted to concentrate on the main albums. And yeah, what I have here now is something nowadays quite rare here i have the original first german pressing 
in a pretty good shape. Not perfect, but in a, in a decent good shape. And here I can show you the label of the first original German pressing. Came out on the brain label. label. So this is in a very good shape. It plays perfect and of course I compared it. Of course I compared it against the uh, uh, reissue in, in, in this box set. And I have to say that the original, the German original, is an incredible, incredible sounding album. This is a flat 10. 10 out of 10. It sounds unbelievable good. The separation, the warmth, so vinyl, so warm, so analog. The, the 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 blackness between the rhythm between the drumming when you have this brief fractions of seconds for, of silence Boah. a 10 it's an it's an incredible sounding album per se gorgeous gorgeous the the the, the guitar of 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 rota with all his nuances timing, subtle variations, the, the air in this whole cosmos of complex rhythmic music is breathtaking, breathtaking. One of my best sounding albums. It's, 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 it's a killer sounding album. The downside of it that you have to pay really, really serious money nowadays for a, for a very clean copy. You have to invest around 250 to 300 euros, which is of course something, but if you are really into it, go for it, go for it. So now, how does the remaster, the remaster hold up against this masterpiece quite good quite good if i if i say this is a 10 this is an 8 they did a decent good job of course it it it, it lacks this punch air and subtle details it, it it just lacks it but it is still a very good sounding album and if you consider the price of the whole box set this is really, really worth it. So they have done a, a good job with it. They have done a good job with it. it it's, it's enough. It, it's not, it, it doesn't come close in a way, but it's, it's okay, it's okay. I, I hope you, you, you get my point. Okay, now it gets a bit more complicated and still I hope interesting if I find it, I ah, hear it is. Here is my Neu 2, the second Neu album, the original. Show you the original gatefold. Again, a very clean copy. Again, a very clean playing copy. I show you the label and then we get to the problem. This is on the United Artists Records label. Which means it's not a German first pressing. It's a UK first pressing. What did I order over at Discogs? Yes, I ordered the German first pressing. I got the British first pressing. Beautiful shape, plays very clean, plays very well. But not what I ordered. But I still I decided, come on, I keep this. Now I'm waiting for a very nice uh, German original and I, I'm sure Minty Vinyl here in Düsseldorf will manage uh, and, 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 and we are in constant contact so that we, we look for it together. Yeah, someday I will have it, but not right now. But again, it's, it's, 
it's interesting. So I could compare the jar, the British first pressing against this remaster. And in this particular case, the remaster is way closer to the first British pressing than the uh, than the first Neu against the German. So that can now mean two separate things, two different things, of course. It, it, that the original is not that killer sounding per se the, of the second Neu, or country of origin, that it really, really matters in some cases. And of course, as soon as I know it, as I can compare it to the German, I will tell you if there is a difference or a big difference or what difference ever interesting interesting journey we are on so you see it can get complicated but but very interesting so um, can't wait for the german copy yeah that's it for the for the neu box i really hope you are ready <laughs> just kidding i really hope you try them out it's it's a stunning it, it it's it's a stunner so proud to live in this city. How, how did Patrick put it on last Sunday's stream when it comes to the originals and to Crowd Rock? Michael, you live in ground zero of Crowd Rock. And yeah, that's true. I here live in the center where all this, not all of the, not all of it, of course, but a lot of it got developed and, and came to be. And if you know Düsseldorf in the 70s and 80s, the atmosphere of this city, which is gone by now for several reasons. But then you understand how this could happen and why, why we have the music from Kraftwerk and Neu and several other, other bands. It, it, it fits. It fits to the city, it fits to the life we have had here. It was a great time. Okay, thank you for your time. See you on the next one. Bye.